some stuff that might show up and make that dark. Plus, mm. when in doubt, use words. There you go. <laughs> Everybody will ask words. <laughs> and I like the little squeeze bottle just because the paint stays um, sealed off and not a bunch of dust and cat hair and everything else. Right. So, so, again, you don't lose uh, so much. So the little circles just kind of float on top. And they don't um, they don't blend like the oh, acrylic pour. They yeah. kind of, you know, push the other one more out of the way than blend. So it's almost like hydro dipping almost. Exactly. Yeah. That is neat. In fact, it's very much Get a card for it once. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. People ask me, can you do my guitar? <laughs> 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 I'd be Larry too. <laughs> I don't really want to. But I, I could, but sure. Uh, and then, oh, you know, these real simple tools is how you oh, use wow. a yeah. So you could print this. Of course, I'm going to do that. But um, if you wanted to print a stone pattern, I would use um, the brooms, and oh, they kind of wow. make it look more stony. <laughs> That's cool. So you could imitate, I mean, I can get stuff look like a, you know, like turquoise or the black uh, matrix. Or, uh, kind of fun to play with that. Too. Oh, wow. And then at any point, you could actually stop and print. It's kind of going fast, so I probably won't print it. Looks good. Yeah, yeah. it does. But wait. There's more. <laughs> it will look even better. So we'll, so then, and pretty much all those steps, you do the same thing. You throw the stone, you do the sketch go, and then from there, it could diverge off. So this is going to be the first cone pattern, and pretty much all marbling starts right there. You throw the stone, you do this, and then you just oh, go wow. from there. So every paper you kind of track it to history. Gotcha. Oh wow. Yeah, that's probably still my favorite move, just because uh, it changes it and yeah, blends it real dramatically. That's a dark bottom, so it won't be quite that dark. You'll be kind of surprised when I pull it out. Um, let me do one more. Let me pull it. And just kind of easy peasy. Just a slight wiggle. Interesting how much more intricate these have Oh, yeah. Done. You could go one more and ruin it too. This yeah. is about, I mean, there are some patterns that are multiple, multiple, multiple steps, but um, sometimes it's better not to go too far because yeah. you can really screw it up. No backup button. Yeah, yeah. No redo. No, that's true. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, still should be okay. So, what do you do to prep that paper? I, uh, what I was doing while you were down at the end of the hall, basically I'm spraying on, um, it's aluminum sulfate, oh. and it acts like glue for the color. Oh, okay. Oh, that's wow. the easiest way to describe it. So it's um, really a chemical reaction between the alum and the paint, and because the paint is on the paper, it bonds it to the paper, or the silk, gotcha. or whatever. Yeah, if you... Put the wrong side down or forget that step, it's, you know. It's a problem, yeah. And then you just gently, hopefully without trapping an air bubble. And then this, it's not necessary, but um, it's easier to clean the tray because the paint is kind of gloppy to all right. pick up. So I, this is kind of how it keeps it. It keeps the back 
could be better, too. That's a lot of newspaper. <laughs> Which is getting harder and harder to find. Yeah, I'd say that. that's true. <laughs> have a, one of the partners um, saved newspapers for me, and then she retired. And actually, these came from Ohio. <laughs> I used to do a show that our local um, Knoxville newspaper would show up and I would take all their extra newspapers oh. at the end that I'd have enough for a long time and then they stopped being a sponsor at the show like the rats. So yeah, newspapers are getting harder to come by. And again, you don't have to do that stuff, but yeah. I do. It's just easier to get rid of the paint for the next And it doesn't have to stay in that long either. Um, pretty much as soon as it goes down, it's, it's down. adhered. Yeah. yeah. In fact, leaving it in longer um, sometimes makes the paper soggy. But this, this is pretty decent paper. So, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, much lighter. <laughs> Just yeah. about it's not floating so on cool. that jar. Yeah, those are my kind of colors. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's I have to watch yeah. myself or I would do all of them this color. Right. <laughs> more colors, more colors. And then I just let it drain a little bit, go outside and rinse it, okay. hang it up to dry, and then it's ready to be something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it turned out nice. It's actually a good luck. <laughs> <laughs> She's a budding artist.